and welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about opioids. Opioids includes opiates and opioids, and it is the common name for a certain type of drug. The drugs are various names, and I'm going to go through those in a, in a minute, and they all are grouped together because they affect the central nervous system of the body in the same way by going through receptors in the brain. They can block pain by creating a euphoric feeling that is unique to them and also blocks the brain's ability to feel pleasure in other ways. They are highly addictive because of their unique characteristics. Opiates are derived from plants, primarily the flowering opium poppy. Those are grown in Afghanistan and they're also grown in Tasmania. Opioid also is commonly referred to as only those that are synthetically made, so it's important to make that distinction. Names for opiates include heroin, morphine, codeine, and then opioids include the uh, pharmaceutical names oxycodone, which is Lortab Vicodin, or hydrocodone, which are Percocet or Oxycontin, um, methadone, which is also called Dilaudin. And these are, some of them are made from morphine mixed with either aspirin or acetaminophen. And that, then also another opioid is fentanyl. So that is they are. Now, there were in the United States up until the 19, late 1980s, there were not any uh, prescriptions for any of these drugs other than for methadone that was used to treat heroin addiction and, and typically from cancer deaths and maybe bone cancer which is very painful and then sometimes for multiple surgeries but other than that they were not widely prescribed beginning in the late 1980s 1990s in the US they started increasing the availability for some of these drugs and you can go on to Centers for Disease Control and FDA website and look at the timeline when these drugs started coming on board. The highest overdose deaths are from these drugs. All in 2017 there were 47,600 deaths in the United States attributed to these drugs from overdose and the highest percentage were in the states of West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, District of Columbia, and Kentucky. Statistically significant increases in overdose, overdoses and deaths for 2016 and 2017 included these states, Alabama, Arizona, California, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. So the problem is growing by then and the statistics are not yet available for 2018 and 2019. There was a 51% increase in heroin users from 2013 to 2014 and the larger time span from 2009, which I said is when fentanyl was approved to be um, commercially available through a doctor, from 2009 when that was first approved to 2014, the users of heroin doubled. 80% of heroin users come from prescription patients. So oh, that just gives you a little bit of information about what these drugs are, where they come from, and what the, a little bit of the facts and the history is. And then I'll put the link below for my video on the Oklahoma City lawsuit, which is the first lawsuit where these matters are being tried. They're being tried in two different ways. One is through class action, which is for the individuals who are plaintiffs 
family members or, or affected people. The other group, and this Oklahoma case is in the other group, which is where the state's attorney generals are pursuing the pharmaceutical companies for the aftermath and what these multiple prescriptions result in to society. So if this was helpful to you or you learned something, give me a thumbs up. Leave any comments or questions you have below. I'm happy to answer those if I can or direct you otherwise. Share this with someone who may it may benefit. Subscribe to see our other videos and come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.